The trailer for Inside Out 2 is out, and it's packed with a series of small details, heavy references, absurd changes, and even some Easter eggs. We've compiled all of this in this video to show you now. To know everything, just stay until the end of the video. Picking up almost where it left off. Folks, it's been almost 10 years of anticipation for Inside Out fans. That's because the first movie was released in 2015, and Inside Out 2 hits theaters in 2024. But even though almost a decade has passed in our world, in Riley's world and her emotions, not much time has passed. We see two things indicating that time there flows much more slowly than for us in this dimension. For example, we can see that puberty button installed at the end of the first film is still there. This suggests that Riley is probably still in the most intense period of adolescence. In fact, the emotions have no idea what the word puberty means. <laughs> hey guys, what's puberty? I don't know. It's probably not important. Whoa. But something tells me that by the end of the film, they'll understand exactly what it's all about. And that puberty button is being pushed intensively. Another thing indicating that the new film picks up right where the previous one left off is the moment we see Riley's family celebrating her 13th birthday, while in Inside Out, she was 11. This probably means that only a little over a year has passed since the end of the first film, so we haven't missed much of Riley's life during this period, and surely the emotions have learned to coexist in a more harmonious way. If you're unsure or don't remember details from the first movie story, watch it again. It will surely help you recall. Adolescent Appearance Despite a short time passing between the two films, at least for the characters, something that caught our attention was subtle but cool differences in the appearance of the film's protagonist, Riley. Also, if you look closely when she turns 13 and blows out the candles, you'll notice something different in her smile. She's wearing braces. Furthermore, one of the biggest curses of adolescence can be seen on Riley's face if you pause the trailer at the right moment. When we look at Riley's chin, we can see a small red spot, indicating the existence of a pimple. <laughs> This certainly is a new and very cool detail that the film's production added to demonstrate that Riley is indeed a teenager, just like any other. Decor changes. But it's not just Riley's appearance that has changed. The decoration of the house she lives in San Francisco also underwent some small modifications that we noticed. Of course, the trailer doesn't show much of the protagonist's family's home, but we can notice at least one change. Look at these two paintings that are back here, close to the stairs. Notice that the one on the left is a tree, and the one on the right appears to be a drawing of four other semi-abstract trees. If we go back in time and see the scene where Riley's dad is in the dining room with Riley's friend, note that the same two paintings are there, behind the stairs, but they are inverted. This is a very interesting detail. Is Riley here? Red alert! Total destruction! Since the first Inside Out film, it was possible to see that in Riley's mind, and probably in the minds of all the animated characters, there is a team of workers responsible for many things, like generating Riley's dreams and making changes to the emotions control panel. Certainly, in the Inside Out 2 trailer, they are one of the things that draw the most attention. If you look closely, you'll notice several curious details involving the demolition team wrecking havoc in the center of emotions. At this moment, we can see some details that we'll show you now, and you probably didn't notice even if you watched the trailer. One of them is that each of Riley's mind workers was carrying a different tool, ranging from a chainsaw, crowbars, to a crate full of explosives. But none of them has a lunchbox or meal for lunch. Yet when they leave, we can see that they leave behind all the tools, like the crowbar, the sledgehammer, the chainsaw, and the jackhammer. Also, a mysterious lunchbox is left behind, which may indicate that they spent a long time there destroying everything in Riley's mind, perhaps referencing how a teenager's mind is completely chaotic, especially when anger gets furious and his head catches fire, accidentally. We see that he lights a dynamite banana, which may have caused even more damage than shown in the trailer. Personalized Pajamas In this scene that seems to take place at night, we can deduce that the five emotions from the first film were sleeping when the demolition team arrived to wreak havoc and we can notice that their sleepwear is totally related to their characteristics. For example, Joy wears pajamas with the same patterns as her dress, with light blue lines also in the same color, green. Sadness, on the other hand, is wearing a white robe that matches her white sweater, which is one of her trademarks. Anger is wearing only red boxer shorts full of little red hearts, just like him, which makes sense since he's on the hothead of the group and therefore wears less sleepwear. Disgust wears a purple nightgown and a cap to keep her hair impeccable when she wakes up, which suits her well. And Fear wears pajamas that more resemble a stuffed animal's outfit. He even has his own teddy bear. 
This part turned out really cool. Different from all the others. After all that chaos, the team apparently installs another control panel in Riley's mind, but this one has many more orange buttons. We see that as soon as the emotions question this, there's the big reveal that those buttons would be used by another new emotion, anxiety. There are some interesting things about this brand new character in Inside Out. The first is that she looks completely different from all the others, and we're not just talking about the color, but the design of the emotion itself, as she has a completely unfamiliar face, very different from the original five emotions. Eye color. Another detail about anxiety is that she has the most different eyes in the entire Inside Out franchise. We can see that she is completely orange, but her eyes are green, meaning they have nothing to do with any other part of anxiety. This is completely different from what we see in the concepts of the other characters. Because anger is red and his eyes are red, just like fear has purple eyes, disgust has green eyes just like her skin, sadness has blue eyes, and joy also has blue eyes that match her blue hair. And there's more! As clear in the trailer and the movie poster, anxiety is not the only new emotion in the film, as there will be three other emotions besides her. Even these new emotions will have eye colors matching the colors of their skin, as we can see even without knowing the names of each of them. New Emotions, who are they? Since we mentioned the new emotions, the image that Disney released of the movie poster also brings some interesting hints about the new emotions. And now we're going to take poetic license to name the other three emotions that will appear in the film. Next to anxiety, there's someone with a very long nose and purple skin. Judging by the character's look, we can believe it's impatience who can't wait for anything. At the other end of the hole, we can see another emotion that looks like a little girl in sea green, with two extremely tiny hands that give her a baby-like appearance, especially with such bright eyes and the best Puss in Boots style. She looks like Hope. Lastly, there's a pink emotion, which also has pink eyes. Unlike Hope, we can see that it's not small at all, as we can notice that its very large left hand is at the edge of the ground, indicating that it will be one of the major emotions in the film, both literally and throughout the story. This is probably passion. Who knows, maybe new buttons on the control panel appear throughout the film, like pink buttons, activated when Riley falls in love with someone. Pretending to work. This last one is just a really funny thing we noticed in the trailer. It really seems like everywhere in the world, there are those employees who just pretend to work to fool their boss. And it seems like the same thing is happening in Riley's mind, because in this scene, just when you pause it, you'll notice that the worker with the crowbar is pretending to work as we realize that he's using the tool on absolutely nothing. And the worst part is that the guy is making the biggest effort face. Fool me if I like it. <laughs> Guys, those were all the details we noticed in the trailer for Inside Out 2 that I'm sure you enjoyed learning about. I'm also sure that you'll enjoy these two videos we're leaving for you on the screen right now. Just choose one of them, click, and enjoy!